What's up everybody, Benjamin from Retro Marmot Pops here. I am at What's Poppin' Trade Show. It's absolutely crazy. It is, in fact, poppin'. Slap me for saying that. But uh, I've got some pretty cool stuff to show you. Uh, I'm already like halfway through the show, so stay tuned. I'll show you some really sick pops and some trades I made. So I just have to say that this is the event that I look forward to all year long. This is the second time I have attended What's Poppin' and both times I've just been totally blown away with how quality it is. Uh, the vendors are fantastic. Everybody there is just very much like a community feeling. Everyone's passionate about the hobby and it is so much fun. So I love this event. Uh, you know what, Pop City, if you're ever watching my videos, I just wanna send kudos to you guys for putting on such a cool event. I know you had some help, but uh, I just wanna tell you guys thanks. So first off, this booth that I'm at right here is this booth uh, from this guy named Skyler. His son Josh was actually running it. I'll talk more about these guys later on. I've met them before through uh, Platinum Toys, um, but man, they had some heat in their booth. As you can see, just so many cool pieces. And I have to apologize really fast. I actually realized I didn't get any clips of the pops I brought to share, or at least uh, trade, I should say. Um, I did share them in a previous video though. So go check out my uh, my last video from this one. You can see exactly what I brought, but when I was there, I didn't actually get any shots of it. But uh, anyway, moving on, this Inosuke Chase, man, caught my eye immediately. You guys know I love Demon Slayer, so had to show that off. Then uh, this table here, still at Josh's booth. Um, this table right here, they had so many NFT pops, and I've kind of noticed this. If you go to Platinum uh, Toys, the store that Skylar helps out with, there's always a lot of NFT pops. So I think those guys tend to collect those quite a bit. Um, but yeah, moving on, so many other cool things. Uh, right here, there's the Spider Demon Mother. Um, this is one I really want. It's not at the top of my Demon Slayer list, but it's definitely up there. Um, and then the Dwight Chase from Chalice Collectibles. Absolutely hilarious. You can see the comment on the right there as well. And man, I really wanted that thing. And as I continued on, they had tons of, uh, looks like these are mostly video game pops. There's some pretty cool ones. Those Crash Bandicoot ones are sweet. A lot of chases as you can see, or at least like two or three of them. Uh, then some Family Guy, those are always funny. I love the 8-bit turtles. You guys know I collect turtles, so those caught my eye immediately. And then uh, this Sergeant Johnson chase is really cool. I don't know what the common looks like. I know that's an older pop, so uh, I'm not too familiar with it, but I loved Halo 3, and that character is fantastic. If you know, you know, he's just great. So uh, again, those are those 8-bit turtles, really cool. Then these black and white chases. I need both of those for my collection. So I was really eyeing those as well. They then had just these mystery mini bins sitting out that you could kind of sift through. Uh, I love mystery minis, but they didn't have any that I particularly collect. So I didn't get any of them, but I thought they were worth showing off. Um, this Lucario right here, man, this is my biggest regret from the whole show. Uh, I was planning on getting it. Then I walked away from the table to look around and it disappeared, someone else got it. So, you know, you win some, you lose some, I'll, I'll keep looking for it. Now this was somebody else's table. This is actually a person I did make a trade with um, for a Pokemon pop, but I was showing this because I loved the Ben Chang, the Brita Perry, and then also the Abed. Uh, I love Community, one of the best shows ever. So anytime I see those pops, it's just awesome. Uh, this is uh, what's, sorry, not what's poppin', this is Pop City who puts on the event What's Poppin'. So uh, yeah, this is the main store, uh, the one that runs this whole thing. These are some of the pops they had. And uh, yeah, I had to show off those crazy grails. This Hellboy is really funny, that Conan Hellboy. Um, then this is actually Raz Closet's table right here. That's another store that is just fantastic in the area. Um, a guy named Rene runs this and he has just hooked me up in the past. I love his store. He always has cool things. And in fact, the coolest thing I saw during this entire event was at his store. So I will show it in just a second here. Um, but first off, I just have all these anime pops that he had listed out there. Um, he always has tons of anime in his store, which is cool because I know there's a ton of anime collectors out there. But uh, these are his grail shelves right here. Uh, lots of cool things as you can see. Uh, I liked a couple of pieces that I will show off in just a second here, like this Kratos. That was really cool, that God of War pop, as well as this uh, Monty Python pop, that's hilarious. Then of course, signed Casey Jones, have to show that, love Ninja Turtles. Chase Reptar, that's pretty sweet. And then at the bottom here, Schwackhammer from uh, uh, Space Jam. I did trade away a Space Jam pop while I was at this event, but I still love them, I think they're really cool. 
and then just massive heat on this shelf over here like take a look at this stuff this is crazy and like it almost just gets better as it goes down um again like i said my favorite pop from the entire event was right here on this shelf and it's so funny because it was like the hardest pop to see on the shelf which is right there it's rigby from regular show if i could wish upon a funko star i would get the regular show pops they are like top of the tier list for me as far as grails go but every one of them is so expensive so i don't know hopefully one day i can make it happen we'll see but uh Moving on, this is uh, Sky's the Limit. I don't really, I'm not familiar with this person or who runs this, but this is their booth. I did think these Predator Pops were pretty cool, um, as well as you can see right there, Beetlejuice, that's funny. Then Dune with Baron Harkonnen. And then honestly, I learned in this moment that they made Pops for a League of Their Own. I had no idea, and I thought those were both awesome. Um, then tons of other stuff, just so many Pops, so many cool things. Lots of Smurfs over here, some Scooby-Doo, and then I think there's Harry Potter at the bottom here. So. Man, like, I just wish, like, I could show every single pop at this event. That video would obviously be hours long, um, but just the stuff I do show. I'm, I'm trying to highlight the stuff that I think is coolest. Uh, then the Sandlot, they had every single one of the pops from the line. I was, I was checking right here how many were in it, and it turns out, yeah, they had every single one of them. So, really cool booth over here. These people had probably... Um, I'm gonna say like the second, my second favorite pop that I saw during this event, and I will show it in just a second here, but first off, just going over the table they have, that Master Chief is cool, um, as well as the Power Ranger Turtles there that you can see, uh, Dark Crystal, that's for my sister mostly, that show, it honestly kind of just terrifies me, but she grew up with it and she loves it, so there you go, Nikki, that's for you. Um, then yeah, tons of other Marvel stuff and just all around cool things like they just had a, a huge mix so whatever you're into they probably had something for you um but here we go this is their mega mega grail section as you can see some of these pieces are absolutely wild like that solely that flock solely right there colossal titan there was a metallic red hulk um just some some wild freddy funkos here just crazy and what's wild is that like it didn't even end there like they had this other shelf over here as well johnny lawrence uh i mean like some signed pops some uh there it is there's the second favorite pop that i had from this whole event that nft bebop oh my gosh what would i do to have that all right i'm walking out of the event had to leave about an hour early because my hedgehog well she needs a bath and she needs to be fed her dinner so we got to go home but I, I got a lot of stuff. My wife's holding a bag as well. Made tons of trades, bought, wow, a lot of things. Spent a little more money than I thought I would. So stay tuned, I will show everything and explain how the night went. It was, it was rad, the whole thing was rad. Look at that adorable little face. She likes collecting Funko Pops too. Oh gosh, she's climbing into my hand. All right, she really wants to get out. All right, I am back. It is the next day after the trade event. And actually, I also went to uh, just their normal vendor day today. And there's gonna be a second video on that, so keep an eye out for it. I have to say, I made some wild trades and I came home from trade night with six pops and I got rid of every single one of the ones that I brought. So ultimately, like extremely successful. Okay, so I'm gonna show you all the pops I picked up and I'm gonna kind of explain the deals and how they worked out. The first one that I got is this right here. So this is a uh, Flocked Glaceon from Hot Topic. Uh, really cool pop. The reason I got this is because obviously I have a Pokemon collection. You can see my Psyduck right here. But I particularly like the Flocked Pokemon, which I have up here. I've got a few, Espeon, Umbreon, Mewtwo, and Grookey is a new addition. So Flocked, Espeon, and, or excuse me, Glaceon, there you go. But this one I traded for two of the sodas that I brought along, the sealed uh i think it was tails yeah i had a sealed tails and a star lord common so traded that for these or for those two for this and uh i'm very pleased with it i'm very happy to have this okay next one is actually a very funny story so this kid walked up to my table and he saw that i had the, the blacklight spider-man from target and he really really wanted it and he asked me what i wanted for it and I told him the kind of things I collect. So this kid spent the next like hour of the show walking around trying to trade what he had for what I want 
so that he could come and get my Spider-Man. And it was hilarious because I had other offers uh, for the Spider-Man, but I was like, nah, nah, I got to see how this plays out, see if this kid can do it. And uh, lo and behold, the kid came through, he did. He traded for something I actually really wanted. And so he made the trade straight up. And that is the black and white Chase PX Previews exclusive uh, shredder from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Really cool pop. I already own Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Raphael. And actually, another deal I made included a different one from this line as well. So we'll get to that in a second. But uh, Chase Shredder, I'm very happy with that. And, you know, it fits my collection more. And I'm, I'm hoping that kid is, uh, is happy with his Spider-Man. So it worked out for everybody. Okay, now this one wasn't a trade. Uh, there was actually a few stores that they let come in and sell pops last night during the trade event. And one of those stores is actually uh, run by a guy who helps run this other store called Platinum Toys. And I love to go there. I've actually done a couple videos on them. And he's a really cool guy. I've stopped and talked with him a few times at the store. Um, but his booth was actually being run by his son. And his son apparently has seen the channel. So shout out to that guy if you're watching. I think his name was Josh. So thank you for hooking me up. But he made me a fantastic deal for three pops I was really interested in. And those pops... Probably my favorite thing that I picked up from the trade night in total. So first one, like I said, a black and white Chase Donatello PX Previews exclusive. Um, so that almost completes the line. It completes the four turtles. I still have Casey Jones to get. That's the last one, which also has a Chase. So yeah, four turtles and we're looking for Casey Jones now. So this is a sick pop. I'm very happy that I got this one. Next one in that deal is awesome. I'm so happy to have this. And that is the Chalice Collectibles uh, exclusive Chase Dwight Schrute. And this is from the basketball episode when he says like, all right, we'll be skins. And he pulls his anime shirt off and he stands there while everybody is like, Dwight, what are you doing? <laughs> this is just such a funny pop. And I feel like the face protector just like, it just ties it together. They did the face protector so well. And it is so funny that he's wearing one because it's like, dude, you don't even have a nose injury or anything. <laughs> it's just funny. It's just, that episode is classic office. So there you have it, Dwight Chase. This is such a funny pop. I'm so happy to have that in my collection. And then the last one from that deal, and like I said, this was a bundle. So these three pops were all bundled together for a killer price that this, uh, you know, Josh really hooked me up. So um, the last one is another Chalice exclusive, Chalice Collectibles exclusive, and that is the Flocked Inosuke Hashibara Chase. I'm so happy about this one. Honestly, it's kind of crazy that this isn't in my collection already just for, you know, how long I've been collecting Demon Slayer and how many Demon Slayer pops I have. Um, but I've just been waiting for the right moment to pull the trigger on this one. And that was definitely last night. Like I said, they gave me a killer deal on all three of these together. I bundled them and they hooked me up. So I, oh my gosh, I'm just so happy to have this. And I'm particularly excited that it has the Chalice sticker on it. I know there's a lot of uh, special edition stickers out there just floating around. And I am, I, I was particular on this sticker. I wanted this one. So so excited that I have this in my collection. The box is in very good shape and they also gave me a hard stack with it. So thank you guys. You really hooked me up and I really appreciate it. And then it was at this point in the show that I had some pops left over on my table and I had to go home to feed my hedgehog as you saw earlier. So I kind of wanted to get rid of everything I had. So I went to Josh, that same guy at that booth, and I just said, hey, look, you have one more pop I want. What if I traded you everything on my table that's left and just for that pop? And he was like, yeah, let's do it. So that pop is right here. And oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm so happy this is in my collection. It is the Nacho Libre <laughs> Chase. So cool. I'm so happy about this thing. Uh, the comment, if you don't know, it's, I mean, it's right here. He doesn't have his mask on. There it is on the back right there. Um, so the chase is him with his mask on. This is the only pop they made from that movie. I would have loved to see, I think it's Steven is his, like his wrestling partner. Esquelito, is that what they call him? The skeleton? I don't speak Spanish, so sorry if I said that wrong. I think it'd be funny if they made him as well. But honestly, oh my gosh, Chase Nacho Libre. How much better could it get? Like Jack Black is hilarious. This pop is so funny, so well done, man. So again, Josh and Skylar's dad, thank you both for hooking me up. I, I know all these pops came from your personal collection, so I really appreciate it. I just like, I can't say enough good about how uh, how you guys treated me. It was, it was awesome to do business with you guys. I really appreciate it. So there you have it. That was everything I picked up from trade night. Comment down below and let me know what uh, you thought was cool that I saw or your favorite thing that I picked up was. So thank you so much for tuning in again. My name is Benjamin and you're watching Retro Marmot Pops. I will catch you on the next one.